All right, today we're going to learn how to use a number line to do some simple ordering fractions problems. Let's say you're given some fractions. Oh, for example, let's say we've got one fourth, uh, about one third, three eighths, and maybe, I don't know, three fourths. Now, if you really have some difficulty understanding fractions, one way that works pretty good is since I have one, two, three, four different fractions, I want to figure out what order they go in from least to greatest. Greatest. Uh, make four different number lines that are pretty similar to each other in size. There's one, two, three, and four. I'm going to put one-fourth on this one, one-third on this one, three-eighths on this one, and three-fourths on this one. Since these are all positive fractions, I don't need anything less than zero. So I'm going to start at zero at each of these number lines. And they're all, I don't see anything that is an improper fraction, like uh, four-fourths or anything that, uh, or is even five-fourths. These are all less than one. So as high as I need to go in my number line is 1. And uh, let's see here. I've got eighths here. I've got a nice grid on my background here. If you use graph paper, this becomes much easier. If you don't use graph paper, you just have to be a little bit more careful. It'll still work. So let's go with, uh, let's say there's 8 is my largest denominator. is 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths. This is going to be fourths, though, so we're going to call this 1 in all cases. So 1 is 4 fourths, and thirds, that'll be 3 thirds. Eighths, 1 is equal to 8 eighths, and another one in 4 fourths. These all have to line up the same. This is going to be 1 half here in the middle. Uh, all the way down. So with fourths, there's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and I want to put one fourth, and there it is, right there. Thirds is a little bit trickier because I've got to divide this whole distance into three equal pieces. And let's see, I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eighths there. And uh, so it's eight pieces divided by three. Three goes into eight. Two times two times three is six. And it's two. Two and two thirds of these is going to be equal to one third. So there's two and about. Two thirds right there. Excuse me. There's one third. From there to there's one, two, and two thirds. There's two thirds there. And then the remaining three thirds is right here. So one third is right about there. Three eighths. Again, I divide this into. It's eighths. Eight eighths is there. There's one, two, three eighths. And three fourths. Again, if I've divided this into equal pieces, there's fourths. There's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. three-fourths. So now we can see just by looking at this picture that we made how to order these fractions. They go in the order one-fourth, one-third, three-eighths, three-fourths.